Your Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the United Arab Emirates Armed Forces, Your Highnesses, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to take a moment to acknowledge the passing of one of the GCC's great leaders. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed, may his soul rest in peace, was an inspiration to his people and to the entire region, and a dear friend and a true brother to Sheikh Zayed and the leadership of the UAE and its people. Please join me in a moment of silence to honor his memory. Thank you. I'd like to take this opportunity to also extend the best wishes of the UAE leadership and people to His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Saeed and the Sultanate of Oman. Distinguished guests, it indeed gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the opening of the Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week and the Zayed Sustainability Prize Awards Ceremony. Over the last decade, this platform has engaged as a global destination for sustainability, inspired by the legacy of His Highness Sheikh Zayed, who was a committed humanitarian and a devoted advocate for sustainable development. We live at a time where breakthrough technology is delivering unprecedented progress to humanity. And the facts are undeniable. In the first two decades of the 21st century, we saw life expectancy reach new heights, global child mortality cut in half, and the middle class more than double. While human progress is accelerating, another key challenge is emerging. How to produce the energy and the resources the world needs while protecting the world we all share together. Here in the United Arab Emirates, we have taken this challenge head on. We were a first mover in promoting and investing in advanced energy. Through initiatives such as Masdar, the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Solar Park, we have launched renewable energy projects totaling almost 12 gigawatts here in the UAE and across 25 countries around the world. Nationally, within the UAE, we have grown our renewable energy portfolio by over 400% in the last 10 years. And we are well on track to double it again in the next 10. To complement our clean energy portfolio, this year, in 2020, we will become the first country in the region to deliver safe, commercial, and peaceful nuclear power. In short, the UAE not only talks the talk, but walks the walk when it comes to delivering sustainable, clean energy. We do this because it is right and it makes perfect economic sense. Ladies and gentlemen, as we diversify into clean energy, we are also investing in the responsible production of traditional forms of energy. In fact, our founding father, Sheikh Zayed, laid the foundation for the UAE to become one of the least carbon-intensive oil and gas producers in the world. I am pleased to announce that following the guidance of the UAE leadership, the Abu Dhabi National Oil Company will further strengthen its commitment to environmental stewardship. By 2030, we will reduce our greenhouse gas intensity by an additional 25%. We will limit our fresh water consumption to below 0.5% of our total water use and we will increase our carbon capture utilization and storage program by 500% to capture the same 
amount of CO2 as 5 million acres of forest. And we will plant 10 million mangroves in Abu Dhabi's Al Dhafra region, preventing coastline erosion and protecting the biodiversity offshore and on land. In short, we will continue our drive to deliver more energy, protect the environment, and remain best in class in sustainability. The UAE's wise and progressive leadership has designated 2020 as the year where we look forward, prepare, and plan for the next 50 years, where we sharpen our focus to capitalize on our unique advantages, build on our competitiveness, and create new strengths and capabilities. Crucially, we are investing in youth, building a knowledge-based economy, and fostering a true, vibrant culture of innovation. Last year, the UAE made history by putting a man in space. And this year, we will make history again by sending a probe to Mars. We recognize that by leveraging the technologies of tomorrow, we can unlock solutions to sustainable development today. Just a few months ago, we launched the world's first research-driven AI university. Located in Masdar City, the Mohammed bin Zayed University for Artificial Intelligence will attract the best regional and global talent. It will position the UAE as a center for the international AI community and will feed into Masdar's innovation hub to translate groundbreaking ideas into practical solutions for a sustainable future. And co-creating this shared future is a key focus of Dubai Expo 2020, which is based on the belief that inspirational ideas come from connecting minds. And as we look forward with excitement and optimism, we in the UAE extend an open invitation to the world and welcome you all to partner with us in shaping a united vision of a shared, positive, progressive future. Ladies and gentlemen, Helping to realize this future is the mission of the Zaid Sustainability Awards. Over the last 10 years, this prize has positively impacted over 335 million people in 140 countries. And today, we will extend that impact by awarding innovations in energy, health, food, and water driven by business, organizations, and in particular, young people, represented by 24 schools from every region around the world. The United Arab Emirates has achieved success over the last 50 years by setting a positive, cooperative, and an ambitious agenda, remaining determined being inclusive, welcoming, and partnering with the world. As we look forward to the next 50 years, we will partner with all who share our belief that the next day can be better than the day before, and that together we can ensure that this generation will make the dream of a sustainable future a practical reality. Let's make it happen together. Thank you.